having to deal with fan service that actively gets in the way. Now I remember why. <laughs> <laughs> now I remember why I had it. This, this is kind of also the problem with with labeling something mid. It's always a personal preference in the end. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm gonna be real. I don't agree with his assessment of Fire Force at all. I actually think Fire Force is kind of interesting. Um, to kind of look back, right? To kind of look back, I, I fucking, I'm getting real tired of of the Fire Force example. Um, for Oh, for the fan, the fan service it got in the way. It got in the way. Well, first off, got in the way of what? If he, if he's already saying that it's mid, right? If he's already saying, oh, it's just a basic plot to carry basic characters as above, it's, it's so boring, right? Then what the fuck is the fan service actually getting in the way of for him, right? Like, what, what is there to get in the way, <laughs> right? Is that right? You're gonna tell me, right, that you are that fucking distracted by the booba, right? That 10 minutes of... Like, that's... Bit, like, if you... Gazelle, you're a math man. You do math, right? Yeah. If you, like, split that over 12 episodes, right? You split, like, 10... Because each episode's, what? Like, 40, 30 minutes? Something like that, right? It's like 30 or 40 minute episodes. Uh, and actually, you split it's more something. like closer to 18 when you uh, cut out the ED and OP. Yeah, so like eight, so it's like each episode's eighteen minutes, right? It's like you if you split that over the course of the whole show, it's not that much runtime at all. Right? It's like a minuscule amount of the show is is the fan service. And it typically tends to be front loaded in Pacific episodes, right? It's not like every episode has Tamaki in it, right? Yeah, and I almost want to re. I al I almost want to rewatch Fire Force just so that I can like modernize my opinions on it, so I can like like have it fresh in my mind, yeah. so I can talk about it again, right? Because I really want to fucking like get in on this. I, I want to become Fire Force's strongest soldier. Okay, <laughs> like I'm gonna I'm gonna, like I'm I'm gonna the become guys. the strongest defender of Fire Force. <laughs> the fucking defend the shit out of the show. Like, I am for Isekai, uh, because you know... You okay, alright, well, let's keep going then. ...of food and or storytelling. But most importantly for this conversation, when we know we like something, we can figure out high-quality alternatives. If we want to. Like how Fire Force helped me find one of my favorite shows from the last few years. Season 1 of Fire Force is what I would call the embodiment of mid. It is a completely average show with excellent sound design and fight scenes, carrying extremely simple characters and themes while having to deal with fan service that actively gets in the way. Now I remember why. <laughs> now I remember why I added this. This is kind of also the problem with with labeling something mid, it's always a personal preference in the end. Yeah, yeah, because I'm going to be real. I don't agree with his assessment of Fire Force at all. I actually think Fire Force is kind of interesting. Because um, there's, the, there's like a lot of sort of mystery boxes going on in Firefox. Oh, in <laughs> Firefox, fuck it out. <laughs> Fire Force. Um, because it starts out being like quite simple, right? It's just, oh yeah, he's got yeah, his fire, fire powers. Fire his feet, monsters right? come in. You have to fire defeat. monsters, right? And then you, and then it's like, oh, his 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 mom and his brother was killed. But then you find out, oh no, is they're alive technically, right? The mom has been turned into a demon, demon, right? And the and the and the brother is like on the bad guy team and then oh what are the motivations of the bad guy team why yeah, is the bad guy team doing i have to the bad say right, the, it very much lost me the moment where it introduced the insects as a kind of a yeah they introduced those insects that like turn people into fire monsters well maybe not stuff. even that's kind of fine on their own but then there was this you know when the when the when the doctor guy turned into an insect there mm. where then the the thematic connection between fire and and whatnot kind of fell apart. Also, when the gods just went, you know, came through thin air, a barrier <laughs> somewhere or something, something. 
Um, well, and then there's, 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 there was also some interesting world building with like the furnace, the furnace stuff, because they go to furnaces the other were cool, but when yeah like they go I... they go to the other continent and they go they find like one of the furnaces that's like not it's like an oasis because of this one thing. But I'm not gonna go for go yeah, for nice. but there there is some interesting stuff going, and and it gets more like because the anime obviously hasn't gone as far as the manga, and because the manga obviously has that one moment in it with the fan service stuff that I fucking love, right? But also it gets it goes into it starts breaking down and becoming this whole big old society. What does it say about society? Like the the author just starts kind of going off the rails and having like fucking political rants and shit <laughs> and whatnot which I've, i i hope they get to that i hope it gets animated because it'd be fucking hilarious uh, hasn't um, there been an adaptation um, in a couple of years not that it can continue or maybe but we'll forward. see we'll see but to kind of look back right to kind of look back i i fucking i'm getting real tired of of the fire force example um for oh for the fan the fan service it got in the way it got in the way well first off got in the way of what if he if he's already saying that it's mid right if he's already saying oh it's just a basic plot to carry basic characters as but it's, it's so boring right then what the fuck is the fan service actually getting in the way of for him right like what what is there to get in the way <laughs> right that's the first problem and then the second problem is obviously the fan service I've mentioned this before, but to win a Twitter argument, I quite literally went on YouTube and I typed in Tamaki fan service scenes compilations, right? And I was like, season one and two, right. It's like 10 minutes. It's like 11 minutes or 10 minutes mm. of collective screen time, right? For this character in particular. Now, that's not counting like the other characters because the witch, the muscle witch girl gets some fan service here and there, right? Like, you know, you know. Obviously, there's more fan service scenes in the show, but when it's Tamaki specifically, because she's the one that everyone like loses their mind over, you, we're talking about like because it's two seasons, so it's like 24. Oh, it was more than 24 episodes this is a season, wasn't it? I can't remember because I think Fire Force went for a little longer. I can't, I'd have to go look it up again, but it's like over the course of the two seasons, right? 10 minutes of screen time, right? You're gonna tell me, right? that you are that fucking distracted by the booba, right? That 10 minutes of... Like, that's... bit Like, if you... Gazelle, you're a math man. You do math, right? Yeah. If you, like, split that over 12 episodes, right? You split, like, 10... Because each episode's, what? Like, 40, 30 minutes? Something like that, right? It's, like, 30 or 40 minute episodes. Uh, and actually, you split it's more some... like closer to 18 when you uh, cut out the ED and OP. Yeah, so like eight, so it's like each episode's eighteen minutes, right? It's like you if you split that over the course of the whole show, it's not that much runtime at all. Right? It's like a minuscule amount of the show is is the fan service. And it typically tends to be front loaded in Pacific episodes, right? It's not like every episode has Tamaki in it, right? Like when they went to the fucking like as we just mentioned, the other continent, right? Yeah. She, uh, oh, yeah, she was there for that. But I don't remember her, like, having any intense, like, fan service moments during that arc, actually, now that I think about it. Um, so, so that's what I mean. I, th I think that, I think Fire Force gets a raw deal, right? I think Fire Force gets a raw deal from people because they get so fucking triggered <laughs> by the fan service. They don't want to, like, actually engage with it on any meaningful level right God, yeah, i almost want to rewatch. I, I almost want to rewatch it <laughs> right i almost want to rewatch it so that i can like talk about it again right because it's been so long since i've like watched it and it was kind of like because we did cover some fire force videos at the time back in the day before the long i dark, think there's right? one of those videos in the queue or in, yeah. the, in the considerations well no more more like no i'm talking about like before we came back and started doing the streaming, right? Mm. We covered we covered some fan f Fire Force videos while it was airing, right? At the time, right? Yeah. And I almost want to re I almost I almost want to rewatch Fire Force just so that I can like modernize my opinions on it, so I can like like have it fresh in my mind, yeah. so I can talk about it again, right? Because I really want to fucking like 
get in on this. I, I want to become Fire Force's strongest soldier. Okay, <laughs> like I'm gonna, I'm, like I'm I'm gonna become the strongest defender of Fire Force. <laughs> We're gonna fucking defend the shit out of the show. Like I am for Isekai uh, because you know you better know mm. when I am in some random Discord server and they start talking about how all Isekais are the same, you know that I oh all of them are the same. Oh, there's fifty of them a season. Oh, <laughs> then I go. Well, do you know? I I I catch your feelings, but do you know to know why you fe are feeling this? Let me tell what? you about something Ooh. called Shosetsu. You see? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Every Look, time. Why yeah, why why you feel yeah yeah yeah. And then yeah, I go exactly. from this is why it feels like this way, but there's not that many. Look this an Isekai like last season that, that didn't come from Sosetsu that was published and blah 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 blah. And you see blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I can I can go not so long as I can go as long as you just Yeah, I just I, yeah, I just I hate I hate that Fire Force has become this like cultural battleground almost right it is, like it's this become is this older, thing this is some slightly older video so the battleground has moved on well no it hasn't though it hasn't Ellie, because people keep bringing it up all the time well i mean i, I you're right in terms of this video right because mm. I, don't, I don't remember when this video came out like i'd have to look at the let me let me go find the date when did this come out uh it was eight months ago so All it was. Right. So it was. Uh, so it's not that. It's like October last year. So it's not that old. It's not that old. But it's getting older. Yeah, it's getting. It's 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 it's. it's yeah, yeah. But people online, especially on Twitter and whatnot, right? Like they they just like constantly bring up Fire Force like all the time as like because people will have those like engagement farm tweets where they're like, oh, fan service. Bad, right? I, like, I only just see boil con down. content farms and uh, engagements. I hate it. I Engagement hate it. farms. Well, you you do your best to not see that shit, but I I end up seeing it all the time, right? Because people people okay. okay this is gonna be another rant, guys. Guys, I'm not talking to the chat. I'm talking to like Twitter that can't hear mm. me and is never gonna see me, right? Guys, stop taking the bait. All right, stop taking the fucking bait. You don't have to respond to every fan service bad tweet okay you don't have to respond to them because what ends up happening is that's what they want okay they want you to quote tweet it so that it gets pushed into everyone else's fucking feed and they feel like they have to respond to it right just stop if you see one of these botted like 50 gillion whatever something tweets that's like oh man these these animes are so uh, fancy what 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 show ruined by the fan server and it's just literally fire force and like what two or three other shows or whatever right don't don't respond just 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 just, just, just leave it let, let 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 the content farmers fucking do their thing right if it's someone that's like, I don't know, Mother's Basement, or someone like, I don't know, Gigak, or someone like that, or whatever, like, just just naming any tubers like, actual real people, right? If it's actual real people making actual arguments, then engage. But don't just, don't just fucking, like, quote tweet every single, like, 14-year-old who's, like, fucking trying to get big numbers, right? Yeah, it's, but... it's not worth. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, and you are just helping them push that shit into everyone's feeds, right? It gives them what they want. They want the attention. They want people to get mad, right? Because it's trolling for them. <laughs> They're fucking trolling. Okay, that's why I don't respond to that stuff as much as I like used to on Twitter. Because I, I, I just there's no point, right? I'd much rather get into like a three hour like fucking argument with someone over localized like <laughs> you wouldn't have seen this, but I was I was like arguing with someone in in a reply thread about localization and I decided to do a funny and pretended to be a leftist. <laughs> like just using leftist arguments against a leftist. Cause we got into this whole like conversation about how um 
oh, if, if wait, if the localizers are workers, doesn't that mean that the artists are also workers and the localizers are treading on the workers, the, the, the artists' rights? And <laughs> and we got into this whole fucking thing. It was funny. It was, it was really good. Um, but Naretsu, the, the Naretsu, the call, the call us a P PDF. Yep. Yeah, well, yeah. Obviously, I'm not saying don't defend yourself, right? Like you, you should at least defend yourself, but you have to be strategic about it, right? And I know that's like nebulous to say, right? But just because, you, you, again, you don't have to respond to every fourteen-year-old on Twitter, right? Like, like I, I kind of have this new rule now where it's like I don't respond unless it's like either someone that has equal or more followers to me, or it's someone that like says something that's just that fucking stupid. <laughs> right yeah and it's and it, and, it, and it's something that has to be counted right but if it's just like the fucking like just, just random fucking nonsense it's like no just don't do it just, you can refuse you can refuse to engage right <laughs> mm. anyway that was my my rant yeah <laughs> it kind of went off kind of went off there for a little the fire force really <laughs> triggers you it does. No, it does. It actually does. Like, it actually triggers me because I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> I'm tired of the Fire Force slander, Ali. I'm tired of it. I will stand up and defend <laughs> my Fire Force. I will. All right. But any, any, okay, let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Because like, I know exactly, I probably much already know what he's going to say. I already fuck. I could, like, he's about to fucking, I know it. I know it. It's not because it's production hooked me, but because it's world hooked me.